Hi, this is Ken, and I'm having a pretty good Father's Day today. My wife and my daughters were really nice and um, remembered me for Father's Day and got a couple of nice little gifts for me. So I wanted to uh, do a quick tech review and show them to you, um, give you my initial thoughts, and uh, hopefully, if you're thinking about buying one of these things, then you know this can uh, help give you a little bit more information before you purchase. Uh, the first you'll notice is this big black box. This is a, uh, a Leatherman. So it comes in a tin and um, inside is uh, the Leatherman Charge TTI, which I guess is a titanium one. comes with a case and a multi-purpose Leatherman tool. Uh, my wife saw me eyeing these at REO and she noticed I liked them so she got me one. Um, it comes with a removable belt clip or a ring for lanyard and it comes with a case and it comes with a strip of tools that I'll uh, show you a photo of later. But it has a, a number of hex, wren uh, hex wrenches and a couple of screwdriver tips on it. So let's take a look at the multi-tool. This is the Leatherman Charge. It's titanium construction. And one thing that I really liked, she uh, it's really wonderful wife. She heard me mention this when we were at REI, is that you have a tool, but you don't have to open it in order to open the knife blades. You can open the knife blades uh, while the unit itself is closed. So it's got a very sharp S30V steel knife with a uh, liner lock. Put it away, you push the liner lock and close it. It's got a serrated edge with uh, a gut hook on the other side. And it also has a fish hook remover and saw, as well as a um, double-sided fine and looks like medium grain uh, file and another kind of hook remover device or something. If I get it wrong, I'm sorry, I don't know all the tools, but um, I will. Okay, then you can open it and then it's got a pliers, wire cutters, wire strippers, uh, fine grip and medium grip. It has if you open it to the medium position like so, it has like about an 8 inch ruler. It has some more tools inside. And what's nice is all of these tools lock. So if you open up the can opener, it has a lock. And for additional leverage, you can um, close this thing back up and use your can opener or the other tools that are inside this way. And they're not going to collapse on your finger with uh, like they would with some lesser tools because it has a lock back here. It's a nice, easy push button lock. But without pushing that button, it's on there solid. It's got a can opener. And here's that tool I was telling you about. It's got a little, little wrench there like that. Removable tips. Removable double-headed tips. So that's a Phillips screwdriver on that side and a flat screwdriver on the other. Very, very cool. These things have come a long way since the first, the first Leatherman. Um, on this side it's got a flat pry bar screwdriver. Watch someone call me out on that pry bar. <laughs> it's got the tiny screwdriver for eyeglasses. That's really handy. Mine are always coming loose. And even a little scissor right here. Which is, wow, really sharp. <laughs> so it's got a scissor. And it locked. No, I didn't cut myself. So I'm just being a big dork about this right now. Um, oh, so put it away, you have to unfold the scissor completely flat. So that's the Leatherman. Very, it looks like a very heavy construction. It is a bit heavy, uh, so I'm not sure if, I'm, if, if, if this is going to become a, a daily wear item, but boy, that's handy, I tell you. It's got everything uh, from opening boxes to, um, I don't know, pulling stuff apart with the fire. So that's really cool. And thank you, Joanne my wife, my darling, and lovely wife, and uh, I'm going to use that a lot, I think. And I will show a, a photo of all the different tips that have here, which has a compartment in the sheet here for, and then the knife. 
or a tool, multi-tool, just goes. When I go home inspections and whatnot, I think I'll wear this with my flashlight. Uh, I think it'll be really handy. And then my two daughters got me a Kershaw Speed Safe. Right now I carry a I carry an HK. You've probably seen me use this in my other videos. It's an HK knife that was uh, given to me by a couple of clients of mine. Uh, were really happy with their home purchase and um, they gave me uh, this HK knife. So it's an HK design and I know it's not supposed to be a review of my own knife, but just showing you what I carry now. As the HK design has a pattern and uh, that's similar to the HK pistols. So uh, it has a one hand thumb opening using the little thumb lever there and it's a very thick and uh, strong knife and uh, I use this a lot. Uh, but my daughter's got me one that's a little slimmer and easier to carry. Probably better for um, wearing with a suit or whatnot. Uh, still good for opening boxes and uh, small chores. This is the Kershaw, and the model again is the uh, Speed Safe. Spring Assisted Knife, which makes it legal, I think, because it's not switched, but you can't push a button and it doesn't just jump open. But it has a spring assist on it. Uh, it has a lock safety lock right here to make sure that it doesn't open in your pocket. Um, not that I think it would, it's really well thought out. But um, here you have it, it's, you unlock the lock by just sliding. It has a little finger flipping area here, as well as the, the thumb catch. But on this particular one, because the knife is so thin and smooth, it's actually easier to just use your finger. So if you push with your finger, you're opening the knife about a third to a half of the way completely manually and it'll finish the job by itself, like so. You have to push it and get the knife open to about here and then the spring takes over. After that it has the uh, liner lock, so it's very secure. Um, until you push the liner lock to the side, then the blade will close. Once again, you just push here. And I'll open the rest of the way. Very, very sharp. Has a uh, serrated edge here and straight edge here. If there's one thing that worries me about this, is it has no gripping uh, texture or material on the outside. So, other than what you get from the clip, there's not a lot to grab onto, and I worry that. Um, that I could cut myself by slipping past here and then getting my fingers up into the blade. Uh, that worries me a little bit or just slipping and dropping it. It would, I think I would prefer maybe some kind of knurled surface like that. Um, but that's not how this was made. This was made to be very slim. Um, and so we'll just have to see how, how it goes for daily use. If I end up cutting myself or not. Really nice Father's Day. Uh, don't get knives every year for Father's Day, don't you? So, very happy. Kershaw. And the Leatherman Charge. Thanks for watching. And happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And thank you for all the families that remember their uh, husbands and their fathers on Father's Day. God bless.